Gus Van Sant, just to be confessional, one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. Your stuff has always fueled my imagination and just watching you do it, like you were one of those indie rock gods where I'm like, Gus Van Sant, man. Like you were the people, you were one of the people, like you, Quentin, Richard, Robert, people that I read about that fueled me to get where I'm going. I mean, like for me, there were, I had the same thing, but it was like John Sayles, John Waters, and predecessors of mine, so there was the same, similar thing. Even Cowgirls Get the Blues um, was a wonderful movie, but that was like the first time where you got like the critical gut punch, maybe? Yeah, big time. It was um, in Toronto, and you know, with every film, you're sort of, it's hard to read what's going on, so my, my take was like, hey, it went pretty well, and my friends are going, no. <laughs> um, but then the big one was To Die For. That was like Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Did that launch at, at Toronto? That was Cannes. Cannes film. And the, um, the studio was uh, uh, Sony, and they had kind of like low expectations for it because it was a dark comedy, and they, I think they found that they didn't know what to do with it. And then it went to Cannes because we, it, the co-producer was uh, Rank Films, so mm -hmm. they, they put it in Cannes, went over there and got some good reviews, and so they, Sony got excited about it. Um, and you also broke the cast of the three kids, man. They went on like to do other stuff, obviously, uh, two of them. One of them won an Academy Award last year, Casey. Yeah, yeah. Where did you find the cast? Did you go through casting process, or how did you? Yeah, I mean, we were just how'd you uh, pick the future normal. Of cinema? Like, I didn't know. Um, I didn't know Casey. Matt Damon came in, who I didn't know, and he did this fanta really fantastic reading. When he tries, he can just do almost anything you ask. Even I'm a kind of a lame director, so I, like I sort of made a couple motions, and he could read your motions and knew exactly what you wanted. And so I wanted him desperately to play Joaquin's part, but he just looked too good. He was like too together, and we needed somebody that was, you know, kind of messed up. Um, hence so Joaquin. We, hence Joaquin. <laughs> but, but Matt was like, you know, you should meet my. Um, we were also trying to go young. You should meet my best friend's younger younger brother, Casey. So Casey came in because Matt sent him in. So Casey was there, and then Joaquin was somebody we knew and like offered him the role. He came up to New York to read. And then same with Nicole. She just came in. Um, we had a casting agent that brought her in. Um, it was just standard casting. 